Hello everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this virtual reality tour of the new Mason Hall. You can see here the, the new entrance and this atrium will have glass all the way up. Uh, if you're kind of confused about the location, right behind me uh, is Forney Avenue. You can see that. And then over this way is the stadium. So uh, this kind of gives you an idea of where the uh, new entrance uh, to Mason Hall will be. So let's go ahead and head in the new front door. This will all be glass eventually. And then as everyone enters the new entrance, uh, the first room on the left will be the student lounge, the new student lounge. Of course, there's still a lot of construction going on, so uh, you'll have to kind of use your imagination. But this entrance here will be all glass, and this will actually be the door right there that you will enter through. So we'll actually go through the door. And this will be the student lounge. It'd be a great place for our students where they can study, they can congregate, socialize. Uh, over here are the stairwells to go up to the other floors. And then of course out here in the hallway, we'll have a new elevator that will service all three floors. And then uh, of course you can still see the outside of the old building right there, the brick. In the new section on all three floors, uh, there are brand new restrooms, men and women's restrooms. And those are loca located on this side of the uh, new part of the building. Let me just take a quick look in here. Of course, you can see everything's still in the early stages. And then coming right back out here, we'll go into what was the old building. And this is the bottom floor. Down this wing, we have our practice rooms. And you can see uh, the new floor has been installed. The lights are automatic now. Once you start walking down the hall, they come on. And once they're empty, um, the, the lights will cut off. Looks like they've installed the carpet in the uh, practice rooms. And we've taken and combined several practice rooms at the end of each hall to form small ensemble rooms. So this could be like for a small percussion ensemble, a brass quintet, a small vocal group. And then of course we have storage in these rooms as well. So let's turn around and go back out to the hallway. Once again, we're on the bottom floor. And right here on the right will be the, uh, the jazz directors, the director of jazz studies office. Looks like they put in the carpet. It's a really large room so that he can have um, small jazz combo rehearsals in this actual studio and it will open up other rehearsal areas like the band room or the recital hall for other groups to rehearse. So that's gonna be a large studio there. Of course, walking on down the hall. This hallway is another hallway full of practice rooms. We've got a small ensemble room here. And these small ensemble rooms are a great addition. We've needed this, this area for years uh, because you may have a brass quintet that's rehearsing and they'll sign out the band room and that's a really large room for such a small group and we can use that for you know, bigger groups to rehearse. These will be practice rooms. And then once again, at the end of the hall, we'll have another small ensemble room. Okay, back into the main hallway of the bottom floor. We've reorganized where all of the studios will be located to make a little bit more sense. So now the bottom floor, uh, of course we have jazz behind me, and all of these studios now will be brass. This first one here on the right will be the tuba studio. And then we have the horn studio. They're a little bit smaller than they used to be, but we've uh, really, I think we've done a good job of reallocating the space so that we can you know, have access to more rooms. This is the uh, trumpet studio, if I'm not mistaken. 
and then the trombone studio. And then over here is where we have our computer lab. Going on down the hall, still on the bottom floor, this is a great addition we're all very excited about. This is the new choral rehearsal room. And you'll notice it has built-in risers. Very large room for our choir department. And then this door here will take us into a classroom here in the back of the building. Coming out of the classroom, across the hallway from the choir room now, will be our class piano room. I think the lights will come on, yes. So you can see they have all the electrical outlets around the room for all the uh, electric pianos. back out to the third floor hallway. They've created uh, a room now where we have a choral library. This is where they will store all of their music. And then between the choral library uh, and the band library, we now have two unisex restrooms. And then right here, we'll have the new band library and this is where we'll store all of our concert pieces of music uh, marching band uh, all of our music for jazz anything like that will be here in the band library going right across from the band library we have some new studios for adjunct faculty you can see those another adjunct faculty studio and then this is another large classroom. So you can see, especially if you're an alum of the music department, how the footprint of the building has changed a lot, but you can also see how a lot is still the same. Right over here was that horrifying freight elevator. <laughs> the shaft is still the same, as you can see, but they're gonna be installing a brand new uh, freight elevator in this end of the building. And next we'll head up to the second floor, which a lot of people think of as the main floor because that's where the old entrance used to be. So this is the stairwell. A lot of you are very familiar with this stairwell. It leads us up to the second floor. And this is where things, to me, really start looking different. If you remember, this is where the sliding glass door was, and that will return. They're doing some work out uh, on the foyer and the porch area of Mason. They're building us a new uh, loading dock, and that's where that's, that will go. This used to be the main entrance. Now it's kind of at the back of the building. And if you remember the way you used to come into the building, uh, all of this to the right has changed. This will now be a, a, a what they call a storefront. It's all glass with a door that enters. And this will be the main reception area for the music department with the music secretary. And then you see another room back there, which will be the uh, conference room for the faculty. And then behind that will be the department head's office. And so let's just go down this hallway. This will be another glass front into the music department secretary and the reception area. Right in here will be the faculty conference room. You can actually walk through here. And then behind the conference room will be the department head's office. And those of you that are alums, you remember this used to be a classroom back in this part of the building. They've combined all this space and turned it into all these offices. And so this is going back out into that first hallway. 
Uh, just to get your bearings, back in here used to be the coral library. And back there is where we used to store the marching band uniforms for the marching southerners back in the 80s. So those of you from that era will remember coming in this little room to get your uniform. But now this has been turned into a classroom. And coming back out this hallway where the main office will be, this will be the faculty mail room and copy room where they'll have um, copiers and all the stuff that the faculty will need. Once again, just to get your bearings, that's the freight elevator shaft right there. And this first room that used to be the department head's office will now be the director of coral activities. This office area here. Of course, none of this has been painted yet. Next to the uh, director of coral activities will be the show choir director and music education, uh, one of the music ed teachers studios. Going down the main hall here on the second floor to the right, this used to be where the restrooms were located, and this will now be the opera director's office and studio. Now we have vocal studios and piano studios. So now on the second floor, we have all voice and piano on this wing. And let me take you down the uh, hallways with some of the uh, new practice rooms and offices. We have more adjunct offices now on this floor, as well as practice rooms. For those of you um, that may remember, you know, back in the 90s, this area was where Dr. Davis's studio was. And now we've taken part of that office and we've created a reed making room. So this will be the reed room where the double reed students will have all the equipment to make reeds. And then this will be the double reed professor's studio. And then there's a music theory teacher faculty office here. Well, let's go back out to the main hallway. <clears throat> so as I mentioned, this wing will be all piano and voice studios. This is another piano studio. And then of course, down this hallway, we have all practice rooms. They haven't completed those. And all the practice rooms will have soundproof doors. They'll have all the acoustical tiles in there to suck up the sound. So it's gonna be so much better for our students than it's ever been. And then at the end of this hallway, we have another faculty office, probably music theory, I think maybe Dr. Doug Gordon will be in that office. Let's go back out to the main hall. <clears throat> okay, so going down this way, we have more practice rooms here to the right. This area will be new winger lockers for all the students to store books, um, mainly instruments, and especially the oversized large instruments. These are all practice rooms, and you can kind of see here, <clears throat> let's see if the lights will come on. Yeah. <clears throat> They've started working on this practice room. You can see how they're gonna look. This, these uh, sound panels will be on the back wall and the two side walls whenever they complete the practice rooms. That's what they will look like. And then going on down this hallway, you'll find another small ensemble room at the end of this 
area. So we've got a lot more rehearsal space for the students. This will be lockers, this whole area here to store instruments in. Another small ensemble room. And then of course, practice rooms down this hallway. Now on this wing, we have all of the woodwind studios. So here you have clarinet. Let's just see what the inside of these look like. Clarinet, saxophone and flute will be in this area of the second floor. Another studio there. And then we enter the new part of the building on the second floor level. And then once again, just like on the top floor, we have restrooms located on that side. And then of course you can see our workers here, they're doing a great job. This is the second floor of the new part of the building. And this will kind of be a little lobby area that overlooks the entrance. They'll be able to see down to the bottom floor. That's the main entrance. And here on the second floor, <clears throat> very similar to the first floor, they have a glass front entrance right here, or a glass front, and then the door will be here. <clears throat> and this will be the new faculty lounge. Something we've never had for the music faculty. A place where we can have meetings, um, or just come and congregate to uh, socialize, in between classes, but the faculty will kind of have their own space in the building. And that completes the tour of the second floor. Okay, so we're back on the second floor now, second floor hallway, and we're gonna go up the stairs to the third floor, the top floor, where the band room is located. Now, if you'll remember, there used to be an entrance right there to the band room. And all of that's kind of changed. Let's go down and do this part of the building first and we'll end with the uh, new part of the building. This is a, what I always refer to as the back door of the Performance Center. It's now gonna be called the Recital Hall. If you remember right across the hallway, was the director of band's office. They've taken this and they've opened up the, the wall between the director of band's and the secretary office and some of the space in the next office to create a large storage room for percussion instruments. This will be for concert percussion and it also it will be a place where they can rehearse. Going down the hallway of the uh, top floor This will now be one of our assistant director's offices of the band. This will be Dr. Stovall's office. And then down here next to the freight elevator will be Dr. Jordan's office, our percussion professor, one of our percussion professors. This used to be Dr. Robert's studio, trombone. Then of course, to get your bearings, there's the freight elevator shaft. And this will now be the main entrance to the, uh, what we call the performance center, which will now be called the recital hall. Entrance looks very different. The back part is now a sound studio and a lighting studio. And they just go up those stairs to get to all that equipment. And down here will be storage for the choral department, robes and whatever they need to store, uh, equipment for the show choir, things like that. If you notice, we have two sets of doors now that will enter the recital hall so that we won't get all that noise when somebody enters in the middle of a concert. So you've got double doors there and you have a set of double doors here. 
when you enter what used to be the performance center, you'll have stairs here where you can get up to the seating area, or you can come down here and you can enter the seating area from here. The all tiered seating, this recital hall will hold 180 people in the audience. They've built a stage area. Let's get up on the stage. These rooms will be uh, storage rooms for the grand pianos. So when they're not in use, they can be stored. And then up on top of this area, the piano storage, they've built a stairwell and this will lead up to the Marching Southerners uniform storage area. All of those will be held up there. Something new, very new, to the recital area is this door right here. And this leads right into the band room now, so when we have concerts, we can just push the percussion equipment right, in, right onto the stage and there will be winger soundproof doors on both sides. So now we can have a rehearsal in the band room while there's a recital or a performance going on in the recital hall. So going through here, it leads us into the band room. Of course, they're doing a lot of work in here still. They've taken most of the duct work out and reworked that. added a stairwell here, which will now lead into a second level. And this is where we will store all of the, uh, a lot of the marching band instruments for the Southerners. Uh, particularly, this will be our 20J storage area. And then back here in the back of the band room, <coughs> we have storage room for percussion instruments when we're not in rehearsal and that's still full of installation. <laughs> but this kind of gives you an idea of what the band room's gonna look like. The ceiling will go all the way up uh, higher than it, it used to be, so it's gonna be help, help us a lot with our sound. There will be that one area right there where the uh, HVAC comes down a little bit lower, but all in all, it's gonna be a, a much better situation for us. And, you can see where the doors used to be uh, to enter the band room. They're now going to be storage closets for large instruments like contrabass clarinet, bass clarinets, maybe tubas, things like that. Then we've opened up this wall here to make a double door out into the new section of the building. And let me just go over here to show you the view out of the third floor foyer. This will all be glass. You can see the apartments. Back there is the Southerners practice field behind the trees. And over there is the football stadium. And a parking lot right there in front of the music building for concerts, uh, for hopefully music students. I don't know what uh, that will be zoned, but that's gonna be very convenient for the music department. A lot of you alums may remember that old scary elevator that used to be in the building. It's completely gone now and has been replaced with a brand new elevator. This area over here will be the new director of bands office suite. Uh, this will actually be a glass front here. That'll be the door that will enter. When you come in, this will be the reception area and the uh, band secretary's area, her office. It's got a great view of the uh, band practice field. You can see that back there in the distance. And then over here will be the graduate assistance office. They will have this area. And then going through here will be the director of bands office. Once again, a beautiful view and if you look out this window, you can see the practice field back there in the background. 
Those are all the fraternity houses. And then over there is the football stadium. And I want to take you down this side of the uh, third floor. Just like on the bottom floor and the second floor, there are two banks of restrooms for men and women. And then we start going back into the old part of the building. And the studio on the right, right across from the band room, will be Mr. Gillespie's office for percussion. And once again, you notice it's large, so he can have small percussion ensemble uh, rehearsals in here, as well as you know, plenty of room for all the percussion instruments that our percussion uh, professors have to have. So that gives you a virtual tour of what Mason Hall will look like. I hope, hopefully, the, uh, you can look beyond the construction and uh, get an idea of how nice this place is going to be once they finish.